We sold Cypher Trust for about you know, $300 million. And our key competitor was this company called Ironport, mm. our key competitor in the field. And so we sold Cypher Trust, and uh, you know, months went by, life was good. And then I remember the morning I woke up one morning and I grabbed my, I think I had a Palm Trio at the time. Palm right? Trio? Really? Yeah, you wow. remember Palm Trio? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, so I put up a Palm Trio one morning, rolled up in bed, and it says Cisco acquires Ironport. For eight hundred million, I was like, "Wait a second! We sold our company for three hundred million. They sold their company for eight hundred million. They're not three times better than us, right?" And so I really kind of started this thought process of like, "Really, what happened? Mm. Right? What happened? Like, how do we we build similar companies, have similar success, but then on the exit, there's different results, right?" And so I got very interested in that because a lot of people spend time talking about the the art of the start, and a lot of people spend time talking about execution. Right? But once you start something and you spend some bit of your life mm -hmm. executing on it, at some point you, you, you have some outcome. Yeah. And so I spend a lot of time nowadays thinking about how do you optimize the outcome. Right? And it's the difference between you know, do you exit at a one-time multiple or ten-time multiple. And you did all the same work. Mm -hmm. right? And so there's just differences. You look over the historicals of how people exit. When was it a strategic sale? When was it a, a value-based sale? Uh, and it, it kind of changes life a little bit. So what was the difference between what you, were, you guys were doing at Separate Trust uh, and what Iron Fort, was it? Iron Port. Iron Port. So what was their art of the exit that was different than your art of the exit? Man, so there's a, a lot of moving pieces. I can't say that I've figured them all out yet. As you look at companies that have been successful, they really align with uh, who could potentially be the strategic partner or strategic mm. buyer. Uh, and they, they, you never want to kind of build a company for the sake of, of selling it. You don't want to kind of build it with that, such a short-term vision. But being thoughtful about if I build this, who are the strategic partners that are going to work with me and I would really fit into their portfolio? And, you know, how do they sell? How do they market? Mm -hmm. Right. Are they a SaaS? Are they appliance? Are they subscription based? Are they revenue based? Do they do, you know, in-house professional services? They outsource that mm -hmm. and kind of thinking through so that you kind of fit in. So it's not necessarily building it so it's going to be flipped, but it's building it with so you're not taking the option off the table. Right. Now, it's even to this, there's even subtle things, even branding, right? With mm -hmm. the, what was the, the thing that you noticed about color schemes? <laughs> uh, so there were a, a couple of companies. So the company that was doing anti-spam that I mentioned earlier, Brightmail. They were a company on the West Coast doing anti-spam. We started Cypher Trust. And you look up and uh, Brightmail, their colors were, were yellow. They were bright yellow logos and you always knew Brightmail. And they ended up being acquired by a company called Symantec who also had bright yellow colors. And you go back and look and... They actually had a semantic person on their board, and they were really being thoughtful. Mm. And you go and read some of the articles about Ironport, you'll see you know, Scott and others talk about how they were paying attention to Cisco's uh, product literature and mm. product m manuals and the way those things uh, were written, and they were acquired by Cisco. Mm. Right? So these things aren't accidental. You're thinking and being thoughtful about how you align with your potential partners. And even if they aren't uh, your acquirer, just being aligned with people that can help you go to market 